How do we get the soft, flowing caramel into the little milk chocolatey pockets of a caramel bar? Well, that's a Cadbury secret. These companies sure know how to market themselves. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best advertising campaigns. It's you. It's me! Goodbye! <laughs> Don't use timber! Use me! I'm sorry, what was that? For this list, we'll be looking at different advertising campaigns run by corporations that stood out among the rest due to their success, creativity, and overall impact on the industry. He's a lover, not a fighter. But he's also a fighter, so don't get any ideas. He is the most interesting man in the world. To be clear, we're not looking at a company's entire marketing strategy, but at individual campaigns that were particularly remarkable. Hold on. We've been waiting for this. Number 10, Taco Bell Chihuahua, Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. The 90s were a time of ever escalating burger wars between the major fast food chains. How did Taco Bell's alternative menu attempt to stand out among the competition? With an adorable talking chihuahua, of course. Rawr. That's right, this furry chihuahua became synonymous with the Tex-Mex fast food company in the late 90s, reminding us that all we really wanted was some savory Mexican goodness. Por favor, drop the chalupa. The Taco Bell chihuahua had the perfect mixture of cuteness and humor to encourage folks to skip the golden arches and grab a chalupa the next time they were in the market for some cheap grub. Get your hands on one now for just 99 cents. Number 9. Khaki's Swing the Gap. You better come inside, let me teach you how to drive and wheel. The 90s gave us some great new trends, but also a callback to 1930s swing dancing known as the Swing Revival. A little bit of Jessica, here I am. A little bit of you makes me your man. Believe it or not, Gap played a large part in pushing this movement into the mainstream. A clothing retailer that focused on casual fashion trends, Gap boosted its prevalence with a series of commercials that featured a hip and diverse crowd dancing to swing music while wearing signature Gap khakis. Its massive success and cultural impact led to more dance-based commercials and a resurgence in company profits. They call me mellow yellow. They call me mellow yellow. Number 8. Dove Campaign for Real Beauty. Dove. I'm starting to already get little crow's feet and stuff, which like my mom had, so yeah. Beauty should be a source of confidence, not anxiety. Dove came to this realization in 2004 and generated a campaign that challenged the status quo of marketing for feminine care products. Dove's beauty philosophy is that beauty comes in all shapes, colors, sizes and ages and that real beauty can be genuinely stunning. At a time when competitors relied upon unrealistically thin supermodels to market their products, Dove decided to showcase the natural beauty of everyday women. It was quite a triumphant feeling. It was like telling the world, I think I'm beautiful. We were reminded that beautiful isn't a one-size-fits-all standard, and that there is an inner splendor within all women. Whether measured through profits made or its positive cultural impact, the campaign was a massive success, and its results were truly unforgettable. I wanted to go through the average door, but my mom just pulled me over to the beautiful <laughs> door. Number 7. The Most Interesting Man in the World Dos Equis. His only regret is not knowing what regret feels like. He is the most interesting man in the world. The Most Interesting Man in the World is a series of advertisements featuring a ruggedly handsome older man relating uber-masculine stories from his youth. After wowing viewers with his outlandish feats, he reminds us in his signature way what his beer of choice is. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. Stay thirsty, my friend. The genius of this campaign is its ability to make us laugh, while also making us envious of the character's lavish lifestyle. If he were to punch you in the face, you would have to fight off the strong urge to thank him. In a world dominated by Anheuser-Busch products, Dos Equis reminded beer drinkers that there's an alternative lager out there for those who are looking to class things up every now and then. He once had an awkward moment, just to see how it feels. Number 6. 
the man your man could smell like, also known as smell like a man man, Old Spice. Hello ladies, look at your man, now back to me, now back at your man, now back to me. Speaking of uber masculine, this next guy may just take the cake for manliest TV commercial character. Swan dive into the best night of your life. So ladies, should your man smell like an Old Spice man? You tell me. In this campaign, each commercial took us on a short ride through the surreal, all while being guided by Isaiah Mustafa's soothing yet powerful voice. I hope you like water, because we're neck deep in the sweet waters of friendship and trust. The commercial's sharp scripts made the campaign a viral sensation, and numerous parodies continued its legacy. As for Mustafa, ladies want to be with him, and men want to be him. Men, take your body to nature. With Old Spice Timber, it's what the angel face woman in your life deserves. Sound good? Fantastic. Goodbye. Purchasing Old Spice may not achieve this objective, but it's worth a shot. I'm on a horse. <laughs> Number 5. Just do it. Nike. Good luck with that. Nope, it wasn't Shia LaBeouf who first uttered this classic catchphrase. Do it! Just do it! Well before Shia was on Even Stevens, Nike trademarked this slogan and more than doubled their market share. While Reebok focused their efforts during this time on the aerobics boom, Nike decided to expand its focus and to target all Americans. If you thought you were too old, too tired, or too out of shape to get out there and work it, Nike had three words of wisdom to change your mind. This campaign was also elevated by the star power of various professional athletes and remains alive and well today. Hey Jim, what are you doing? Shorter guy, put this on. Number 4. Silhouette Style – iPod Just three years before Apple persuaded us to get a Mac. This time it's going to be different. Trust me. They released a series of commercials for a certain music playing device that revolutionized the music industry. While many campaigns feature a famous or charismatic spokesperson relating their company's message, Apple did the opposite with their signature voiceless yet spirited silhouettes. One, two, three, tell my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Instead of embodying a particular individual, they represented a free-spirited and fun lifestyle that could be associated with Apple's music products. The iPod helped Apple make enormous strides towards becoming the giant it is today, and this campaign undoubtedly aided the product's massive success. Number 3. Priceless. MasterCard. Getting everyone together for dinner. You certainly are in a pickle. <laughs> Priceless. If you haven't heard this one, we have just one question for you. Where have you been the last two decades? Each ad's format is simple. Item, then item cost, followed by a sentimental thing or activity associated with the item that's priceless. Making it all better. Priceless. Nearly 20 years later, with commercials airing in 98 countries, there's still no sign of, for everything else there's MasterCard, slowing down. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. If you're still not convinced of the campaign's ripple effect, take a look at the countless web pages and TV shows parodying the masterful campaign. There are some people who don't like change. For everyone else, there's WikiLeaks. Commercial and newsprint placement may be costly, but this campaign's success is indeed priceless. Watching her play with a cardboard box instead? Priceless. Number 2. A diamond is forever. The De Beers group of companies. How else could two months' salary last forever? It's one thing to revolutionize an industry. It's a whole other thing to actually create one. De Beers did just that throughout the 1900s with the diamond engagement ring. The campaign reached a climactic moment in 1947 when the slogan, A Diamond is Forever, was introduced. This earned it the title of number one slogan of the 20th century and led to the social norm of acquiring a diamond ring for your lover upon engagement. It, it, it's a promise, Allison. It's a promise that one day I will. I will fill this box with a ring that you deserve, a beautiful ring, and I can't afford it yet. I've picked it out already, though, and 
It's at De Beers and it's really nice. The origin story behind De Beers' engagement rings may not be the most romantic, but there's no denying that it's the gold, or in this case, diamond standard for effective marketing. There are two things in the world that last longer than time. Love is one of them. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Keeps all of your stuff tucked in. You're talking about my jeans, aren't you? Yes, who's the artist? Old Navy. Oh, I love his work. No, 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 it's a store. Explain. It's the new mid-rise rock star. Mm. If you try on any pair of jeans right now, mm. you get $5 off. Mm. It's so easy to use Geico.com, a caveman could do it. What? <laughs> Not cool. I did not no. know you were there. Yes. I didn't know I was... Tony, eat a Snickers. Why? Because you get a little bit whiny when you're hungry. Better? Better. Hey! My back hurts! <laughs> now my front hurts! You're not you when you're hungry. And Felix is back to win something. A new world record holder. Yo. What? Hold on. Hello? So what's up, B? Watching the game, having a bud. Number one, Santa Claus, the Coca-Cola Company. Coca-Cola prides itself in its ability to bring people together, as was shown in their catchy 1970s jingle that almost made our list. But the beverage company showed its true genius decades earlier, when it boldly proclaimed Coke as the drink of choice for everybody's favorite North Pole dweller. Coca-Cola wasn't the first company to use Mr. Claus in advertisements, but they are unquestionably the most prominent. Dad? <laughs> Dad, it's Santa Claus! Hey, so it is. Their ads became integral in creating the image of the modern-day Santa Claus, while also cementing the company's role in American culture for years to come. I think now when people envision Santa Claus, they envision the Coca-Cola Santa Claus. Do you agree with our list? After 30 years, could you keep a secret this long? Which advertising campaigns top your list? You have the famous Yes Girl, you have the Why Grow Thirsty Girl, you have the Coca-Cola Santa Claus. For more market-worthy top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Come on, hip hop, the hibbit, the to the hip hip hop, you don't stop the rocket to the bang bang, boogie set up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to be.